Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking, trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, um, I don't want to waste much of your time, as we already know the movement of Peter Obi. If you check my previous video, I updated you the moment some guys voluntarily Take the movement and campaign of Peter Obi to a dear parlor. You can check that in my previous video. Now, this actually happened um, at a traffic light runabout in Asaba, where you have seen this Nigerian youth holding a placard for over two hours just uh, to campaign for Peter Obi and encouraging other Nigerian youths to get their PVC. So, what actually happened is that. Um, 2023 will not be business as usual because the Nigerian youth have seen that this is the only opportunity they have to make things right. Electing a leader um, that will change the country, Nigeria. I mean, they are tired of all these old men. And then I keep telling you guys that, that one of the problems in Nigerian political system is the recycling of old leaders. All right. Now, you have seen the, um, the likes of um, Akpabio, when he contested and failed the APC primaries, he went back uh, to contest for a senatorial seat. In another faction, he wants to recycle himself. Remember, he was in nine assembly. No, he was in the eighth assembly, something like that. And then um, after then, uh, he was made a minister by President Buari. And now he wants to recycle himself back to Senate. I mean... These men really think that as a national assembly or government house is their father's throne. Now, look at um, Ahmed Lawan. He also contested for a, uh, a presidential um, primary and he failed. Guess what? When someone, uh, you know, took over his position, the man won, I think, Yobe North Senatorial District. After Ahmed Lawan fell, I'm talking about the Senate president, he now wants to go back talk to the man for that man to step down for him i mean who does that thanks to the man without with all the pressure that man said he will not step down for him yes the man resigned pick a, a nomination form for apc presidential uh, election primaries election for 100 million naira now after he failed someone else took a form to contest for his seat and won and he wants to go back to, you know, for the man to step down for him so that he will recycle himself back to the Senate. Somebody that have been there for about 15 years. I mean, is that your father's house? There are some people that even, that their parents have houses, but they prefer to rent apartment outside their parents' house just for them to feel comfortable and all right. But these people, they believe that government house and uh, National Assembly is their father's properties or their father's throne or palace. Most of them have been there for like 20 years plus. Yes. All right, um, I really appreciate that man that didn't step down for Ahmed Lawan. And INEC also confirmed that they don't know any faction of um, Gospel Akpabio that he's not recognized. So I believe these men will learn. Let me know what you guys think about this young man. Uh, for a one-man campaign on the street of Asaba for over two hours, encouraging nigerian youth to get their pvc and also vote for peter Obi. i quickly wanted to update you on this make sure you subscribe so you get more updates whenever i have update to share with you see you guys in another video